Well, it's the Christmas holidays. I've got no idea what day it is. I've eaten and drank too much, and I was sitting outside looking at the Monte Scarlo. So I repainted her back to the factory color earlier this year when I had the engine out getting rebuilt. And as much as I love this car, it's, it's just been missing something. So today, I'm gonna add some more horsepower with racing stripes. Welcome to Cars and Guitars. Because if you're going to have an expensive hobby, you may as well have two. First stop, paint. Only the highest quality rattle can for the old one's color. And I also swung by the old hammer barn on the way home and picked up some tape. I got some cheap stuff and I got some not so cheap stuff and I had this stuff left over from another job I was doing, this, this spin stripey kind of tape. So that'll come in handy for a couple little curves in there. I don't have a plan, but I've got a bit of paper, a pencil, and somewhere around here I've even got a tape measure. So we'll see how we go. Plan is uh, I'd like them to be somewhat perfect, but I don't want the paint to be perfect. I'm gonna you know rub back through a bit Kind of blend it into the rest of the car. Keep it, uh, keep it looking kind of loved. All right. So the plan is we'll do the old I think they call it a scallop, maybe a bit of a swoop, sharp angle. Uh, there'll be gold, black gold, and then obviously black in the middle, and then you know two. Might even throw the old tape measure on it as well. So I found some pictures online. I got to convert it from the devil's maths into the metric, you know, because Australia. I've done some maths here, um, center line, etc. Measurements. Oh, so much hood. surprised by my genius sometimes. What are you? Six. Can't even see it. Six. Six. Yeah. Sixty-nine. Uh, four and a half. Got the old center line centered, even line it up with the air freshener. And now all I gotta do is, oh, well, everything else. But this is centered, so it should be pretty straightforward just measuring out from here.
And just like that, it's black. I'll probably let the paint dry a bit. And in the meantime, I've only got to do the whole thing again on the back. So let's go. Boom, done. That was almost too easy. And let me start by saying halfway through the video that I, and believe it or not, I am not a spray painter by trade. Let's get some paint on this and we can get into the fun stuff. Well, that took a little longer than expected. Ed Roth kept calling me, now my books are full for next year. But in all seriousness, absolutely stoked. Could not be happier. Uh, I've still got a couple little things to do, so I'm gonna give it a good wet sand and just patina it up a little bit. There's a few chips and things on the gold paint I wanna highlight. I'll use my little foam block, razor blade, things like that, just to bring it all together. These are the little foam sanding pads I use. Uh, they're pretty cheap, you can get them from Hammer Barn. They start off kind of coarse, but they wear in really quickly. And by the end of it, you've, you're almost giving it a bit of a polish. Um, I really like them for doing you know, edges and, and stuff like this. I hope you enjoyed that. This was such a fun little weekend project and it completely changed the car. The only thing left to do now is drive it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for plenty more.